Hi Travis, so today I thought I'd do is just a really quick review on this here, which is the wireless microphone system from Lens Go. Now you can immediately see this is very similar to the uh, Rode wireless microphone set which I have here. And I am using the Rode one just to give you a comparison. Um, so this is the Rode one and I'm going to be opening up this one and showing you what it looks like and shortly I'll be switching over to it and showing you how it sounds. Now you'll notice that the actual shape of the microphones here is the same as the shape of the case which is quite a cute thing so like a <laughs> the case that holds the microphones is like itself a giant microphone and it's quite an interesting case as well um, it has a button here to open it up and on the side it has a USB-C port and that is because this case actually has wireless charging so when you plug things into the case I mean when you drop them into the case they'll automatically start charging so now this is the set with two additional microphones so I'll just be using one of them and I will also mention that uh, it comes in three colors a black, a white, and a kind of a yellow. And the one I have here is the white version, which was the only one they had left in stock. But what I find a bit unusual is that the only thing that's white is the top and the back. The front is still black. Whereas, you know, with the Rode one, when you get the white version of this, it's completely white. And the idea of having a different color is so that you can actually hide this microphone. You know, if you're wearing white, you wouldn't really uh, see it. But because of the black front panel, um, it kind of makes it weird to have the different colors. <laughs> so another quick thing I would just mention is that each receiver, each of these receivers have a USB, micro USB slot. And that makes it uh, either better or worse than the Rode system because the Rode system can record internally, but it has no way to remove that storage so you can't take out an SD card from the road system but you can with this one so if you were working in a team and you wanted to just take out the audio and give it to the sound person that would be a quick way to do that also it does charge via USB-C here so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on you press and hold the side turns on and you notice the display is quite an interesting display it almost looks like it blends right into the screen. You can hardly see where it starts and ends. Same with this one, you just press and hold. And then it turns it on. And you can see the green light means that it is connected. Now this screen does turn off after a bit, but if you press the up or down volume button, then you will see that the screen comes back on. Now with this one, you can already see the system. The the level here is showing how loud or quiet this microphone is currently being and uh, the level is set to 4 and I can turn it all the way up so that is level 6 so level 6 is the maximum value and you'll notice that it stays showing the 6 until it goes to that which is showing now it's showing the level of this microphone and um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over the microphones now. All right, so now I'm using the Lens Go microphone. The level is recording on level six. And I just wanted to show you that the back of the system, it uses a magnetic clip system. So the actual clip that holds it to your clothes is a magnet, which is quite an interesting uh, design choice. That also means that if you wanted to put it on your shirt like this, for example, you can use the magnet through the clothes to hold it on there rather than using the clip itself. And also in the bag, you get an additional magnetic clip and this is, has a flat back and it's intended to stick onto a surface. You can see it has a sticky patch there. But I'll just show you with the second device here. You can basically attach it there onto a flat surface or because the back that's flat, you could use it to attach behind your clothing. So the other interesting thing about these is that the, the magnet means that it can rotate fully around, which could be a good or a bad thing. And the other thing as well is that they have this wind muff on the top and it attaches with a clip. So you just pull it off there like that. 
and then you can reveal the microphone on top and the microphone input. So you can also use this with uh, an additional microphone like so I've been using the wind muff on this I'll just take it off and see if that makes it any louder or clearer so now the wind muff is off let me know if that sounds louder or clearer so to further test the sound quality I have the uh, Rode lapel microphone and this is the go version so it has a standard TRS port and let me just plug that in and see if it works All right so now I'm using the Rode go Rode lapel go microphone plugged into the system do let me know if the sound quality is improved uh, and how it sounds and I'm going to remove it now and go back to the built-in microphone all right so now I'm back to the built-in microphone so now because this is a wireless system I did want to go ahead and test it outside and just give you a bit of a, a feeling of how far the distance you can walk with it is so I'm now outside and you can probably hear the cicadas outside i'm going to go ahead and clip the wind muff on there we go let me know if that dampens the sound not and i'm going to walk back there and ahead and keep talking and see whether the uh, wirelessness keeps up so just testing now i'm probably walking a couple of meters away so now i'm several meters away from the camera let me know if you can still hear it and let me know if it is still recording the sound clearly so that is just a quick test of the distance I know it actually has a further distance as well um, but that was just a bit of a taste so that's it basically um, a quick run through of the Lensgo wireless microphone system now I also should mention you get a couple of other things in the bag as well so you get a USB-C uh, charging cable to charge it whether you're charging it directly or uh, in the case and you also get this here which is a TRS to TRRS so you can plug one end into the microphone and one end into a uh, phone's output or the computer output so do let me know in the comments uh, which of the sound samples you preferred this one here with the built-in with or without the wind muff and or the road system which you heard at the beginning thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos